Alright, hey guys, Blockjock here. Welcome back to Let's Play Minecraft Amplified. We're back here in the main area. And I've just sorted out and kind of cleared out a little basic spot here. And I'm, I'm thinking of what to put for the door because it could be something really cool or it could be something just like a door. I don't know what I want yet. Um, but I was messing around with pistons and trying to make a like piston door and creative and it's a lot more difficult than I thought it would be for trying to make it actually good timing and look good. And so I'm, I'll hop into creative and I'll show you what I've, I've looked at so far and I'll let you guys vote on what you think about it. Because I don't know or not. I'm kind of iffy on the subject. It's okay, but I don't know if it'll be good or not. I can always try. It's not a big of a deal. I could always rip it out after, but let's jump into creative and see what I've done. Okay, so this is what I've kind of set up in creative just as a test. Or, um, something I could do. Now, what do you guys think of this? You'd be like, push the button, opens up, closes. This is a redstone, it's pretty basic. Um, I originally had it like this, but that's way too fast. Like, you'd be like, ugh, half the time you'd probably take damage. So, I was messing around with pistons for like probably 30 minutes trying to screw around with um, something that would push a piston redstone block to this stuff and make it not loop forever but have it extend like a pulse extender and I just couldn't find a way without comparators and I don't have nether quartz yet so I don't think I can make comparators I'm pretty sure so my solution for now was just to add this and then it would it would be a fine amount if you actually knew where it was of course be like all right I just want it to be open longer, that's my main thing. And I can do that with a comparator. So I could either wait and put this in with a comparator, because if I have a comparator, I think, I don't remember if I, I don't really remember how to do this from my hand, like from memory. Something like that, with one of them on subtract. Um, don't really remember how to do this. Like that, yeah. I could do that. I don't know if the signal would last, though. I'd have to put repeaters. Does that work? Works for one side, not for very long. <laughs> oh, it does work for a fair amount of time. What's wrong with this side? It's just a basic inverter. Uh, what's going on? Oh, it's not outputting a signal. That would be why. Oops. Would that break it? By chance? Yes. That would break it. So this needs to be not attached. Plop, plop, plop. Ignoring all that. Now that they close at the same time? Yeah. So, once I get comparators, I could do like this. I could just wait and then do this. That is possible. Because that gives you lots of time. Like, that's what I want. So, um, I can wait for comparators. Because I'm pretty sure I need nether quartz. I need to double check that, but... I'm pretty sure I do, because that's what that color is. And I can wait for that and do this, or I can do the temporary one and then add this after. Just let me know in the comments. We won't do it this episode, but I'm just curious to what you think, because I think it'd be kind of cool to have like a hidden doorway thing with a button. Um, an easy thing you could do, but it doesn't work because of the color, is you could make it so that way I don't know if this is even long enough of a wire. It's too long. Okay. Um, what you could have here is a wooden button instead because that lasts longer. It's like the same thing as the comparator. It's just a bit shorter. Um, but this obviously doesn't blend in at all. You'd have to have wood here and that doesn't work. So it needs to be a stone button or pressure plates. Either way. Same signal length, I'm pretty sure. Pressure plates obviously depends on how long you stand on them. But... Um, 
yeah, so put the button in the wrong spot, but that's okay. No, I didn't. I just don't have redstone there. But yeah, um, so let me know in the comments what you think. That's enough of this. Let me jump back into survival. Alright, so I figured before we mess with the cave, we'll probably do that next episode, or mess with the mountain cave. I figured we can uh, check out that cave that we found all the way back down there. So, because we need more diamonds so we can enchant and stuff. So I was collecting feathers and managed to find two. Yay. So, <laughs> for arrows. So I have to live with that. Or whatever. We will live. Alright. Well, I'll meet you down there. Okay. We are here. Okay, spooks. Alrighty. Hmm. Also, I don't know if you've noticed, but I updated my video card drivers, and I seem to have fixed the, the graphical glitches. I, so far, I haven't noticed any, and I've been able to turn it up to 32 chunks. The only thing is um, <coughs> that um, it will sometimes desync, it looks, seems like, at least, and I have to re-log, because it'll just like keep teleporting me back to where I was after a few seconds. Breaking blocks is nothing good for you, so. Other than that, it's pretty normal. I think that's just because I'm on Amplified. <coughs> okay, so where was I? Up here. There's skellies, and there's a bat. <coughs> well, let's dig up. Because that seems like the safer route. Because pillaring up, pillaring up did not work last time. Torches, that's really smart. Really should have brought torches. Oh crap. But it's okay, I have wood. And I've got coal everywhere. Okay. Back up to here. Oh, should have made a new shovel. I wasted all that gravel. Okay. this safely before a skeleton shoots itself. I need to eat. Be a good idea up here. So this is very likely to have some decent loot in it. Oh, you gonna, he's gonna jump. Do it, dude. Or I'll help you. If you want. there. Okay. Why would I do this? Uh oh, there's a zombie to the left. Right, I mean. No? Oh, oh, oh. Pathfinding. Pathfinding. Oh no, it's not, not this again. The zombie horde didn't even kill that guy. What the heck? They're just spawning everywhere. Look, gold. Look, this isn't even the the main 
abandoned mine shaft. It's just a cave. That's pretty cool. I really need a more quiet keyboard. But you know, what can you do? <laughs> Hi, bud. I just want to see if there's anything shiny down here. I'll grab all the other stuff later. Oh, this just goes back down. Okay, well, I'll just grab all this iron. And I'll meet you back at the top of this cave. Okay. I say we move into the abandoned mine shaft, see what's up there. Let's do it. This is really scary. There's a lot of scary sounds happening. We have free minecart tracks. I forgot. I'm not going to grab those now. Grab those later. Is this a mob spawner? This definitely is a mob spawner. Okay, zombie spawner. Right there. Of course, it's blocked off by spider webs. Oh, I want this. Some lapis, some food. I'm okay with food. Oh, wow. Even enchanted. Oh, look, there's a mob trap here just for me. It's already made. <laughs> All I have to do is punch zombies. It's not a very good one, but you don't get hurt unless you're retarded like me. Let's see here. Best way to get anything. <laughs> Free mob trap. Well, this is cool. Could definitely use this for something. I know there's lava there, so it's not going to get that much good rates. That much good rates. Cool. Well, make sure that we keep that for future use. Just going to check. This should be dead end. Yep. Okay. Don't know why I don't have blocks in my hotbar. Gold, some tracks. Oops. Already need more. Make a 400 sticks. Might have been a mistake, but you know. 2,000 torches, okay. We're good. For torches. Iron is always good. You can always run out of iron and coal. But once you get into blaze farming, then you don't really need coal. Except for torches. That's about it. But other than that, blaze arms are the best fuel source. Nothing here. Just a bit of iron. So. So, how are you guys doing today? I must have to take these. I'm doing good, just playing some Minecraft. As you can tell. Here, a skelly. Did not mean to place that. Oh, there's a spooky spider up there. And a creepy creeper. few creepers. I see three down the hall. Four. Holy crap. Just a few. Don't blow up my gunpowder. Oh, I can't even pick it up. No, 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 no. Okay, dude. What the heck? Holy, there's so many! Jeez! There's so many creepers! Welcome to hard mode, guys. I not, not didn't know when to stop. Uh oh. Yep. Hey. How's it going? Keep on top of my food in here, it's really freaking scary. Too many creepers. Are you kidding me? Oh. He almost blew. Oh god! That was scary. That's 
very scary. Um. Uh, not much here. This guy down, get out of here. Plop torches. Yeah, there's not too much in this mine shaft actually. Just mostly iron and coal. Surprisingly, it's not that. It's pretty high up, so I'm not expecting to see diamond ore. I'm just expecting to see some more mine carts. There's only that. Those two. Look, we got some good old music, which I'm okay with. So, yeah, we really, I really want obsidian, so I can um, make a enchantment table, which means basically we need a bunch of diamonds for both of those things. So that's why I want to mine here, but we're not having that much luck here in this abandoned mine shaft but it's still cool how's it going bat goodbye <laughs> that noise is so appetizing I don't know why it's just satisfying to hear <sighs> I like it I'm evil oh god a dark room here God, there's another one. I didn't see you. You blended in with the darkness. Okay, the whole gang's showing up. Come on, Skelly. So freaking broken and hard. Okay, no longer regenerating health. It's not a good thing. Let's get some lights up in here before more sp zombies spawn. Here, scary stuff over here. Oh, there's a freaking armored guy coming now. It never ends. Jeez. Taking the heavy hits. Oh, look, that somehow managed to burn that. Still nothing. No carts. This is insane. It's a pretty big mine shaft. How you doing? Oh, thanks for the bow. Too bad I can't pick it up. That sucks. Mm, grab his iron. So here's some caving for you guys. <laughs> Not the most interesting thing ever, sadly. So maybe a bit cut up. I don't know. But this is really actually close to our house. So we could make a pretty cool cave house out of this which is really exciting because that's something that's really cool to do is chop out all the wood in these areas expand the hallways a bit you can make a cool house underground and I tried to do that in my single player somewhat obviously inspired by um, Etho that cave house because that's what he did in his last play but I just thought it'd be cool it'd be cool to try it out it was actually really fun I just it was too far away from the house to actually be able to do much with but this one I could. So, I might just make my own little cave house down here as well. Connect it up to the mountain. Be kinda cool. Uh, yeah. Well, if I find anything interesting, I will let you know because this is not actually as exciting as it normally is, except for the insane amount of mobs that just decided to all spawn at the same time. So, yeah. Get out of here, guys. Jeez, they don't stop, do they? Oh, creeper, really? Look, he dropped a freaking carrot. This is really spooky. Really? I've gone about her for days. Three skellies in a row. After hitting the second one to death, I'm out of sword. Please drop an enchanted bow. 
Nope. Not even any arrows. So I'm up to 17. After those few arrows I just shot. Because of killing all the skellies. And now I'm out of the sword. So it looks like I'm at bow. I'm at ranged attack now. So I think I'm going to go back now. Got lots of iron, but not actually that much. Or I guess any diamond. I guess we could check out this area really quick. But yeah, not much. It's just really big and... I don't know if I've been everywhere or not. And I'm running out of stuff. My pick's gonna break soon, so... Yeah. It's gonna grab a bunch of this coal. Or not. Get out of here, bud. I can't do anything. I'm gonna die. I had to punch him to death. No, really, they're just gonna get Are you kidding me? I don't think he can get to me. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me here. Okay, the spider is gonna be a trick. Just gonna have to. What? I somehow shot myself. Seems legitimate. The most legitimate. Okay, I need to figure out how to get out of here. Just... This is backwards. I need to follow the torches on the left. If they're on the left, I'm going the right way. the best strategy guys always place torches on one side and then you can trace back by following the opposite always done that always a good thing to do it wasn't my idea originally to do it but check over here there's another side on the other side of this cave thing ravine go away dude oh crap got me stuck in a web freaking jerk <clears throat> I don't think there's much over here. Maybe. It's just a almost dead end. Yeah, it's not much. Just a tiny bit of iron that I will grab really quick. Alright, so that's going to be it for the episode today. Once I go back up, we can end it, but yeah. So... Let me know what you think about the the whole redstone mechanic I was testing earlier and stuff. Let me know what you think about all that. And let me know if you want to have that door now or wait for the comparator to have the pulse extender, I believe is what it's called. Okay, this shouldn't kill me. But, okay. So yeah, just let me know what you think, which one. I should either wait use it temporarily with the other thing, or wow creepers, really, or if I should, yeah, either way, one of them, <whistles> running out of arrows, don't have that many, just gonna try and run past this guy, don't push me into lava, don't push me, okay, he can't follow us, okay, so see you back at the top, yeah, also I never showed you, I made a new chest for stone bricks, because this one was, Getting a lot, so yeah. Let's get this stuff cooking. Got the coal here. So this is why I need to mine more coal down there. But yeah. Okay, that's what I meant to do. So let me know in the comments what you think. Got nine gunpowder down there. Eighteen. So just let me know what you think, guys for the whole door thing and if I don't get a response I'll just wait for the repeater otherwise let me know or I'll wait for the comparator not the repeater you know what I mean so we got that carrot cool so I think next episode what we're going to do is we're going to make our first redstone build in this world and it'll just be um a farm that has like just pistons that retract water or just or even just um, droppers that dispense water 
So, either way, we'll figure it out next episode. Got two non carts, two chests. And yeah, well, I'll see you next episode. It's probably a long episode, so. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you later.